Hi there, future virtual executive assistants, and welcome to our fourth module. And this is where we're going to discuss the competencies that you should have to be a, a successful virtual executive assistant. Now, the first competency is you have to be detail oriented. Now, trivia lang, guys. First, first competency to, di ba? And this is one of the most important things. Now, this is one of my weakness. Talagang hindi ako detail-oriented. And that's because makakalimutin ako. So, I forget a lot of things easily. So, this is, I recognize this as one of my weakness, yung pagiging detail-oriented. But guess what? Yung client ko provided the feedback, yung feedback form namin sa work. And he said that he really likes me as a virtual executive assistant because I am detail-oriented. Ang funny how it contrasts, no? But that's because since I recognize this as my weakness, yung pagiging detail-oriented, I always make sure that I triple-check everything. I always make sure na lahat binabasa ko, lahat yan, even if alam kong or sanay na ako dun sa specific task na ginagawa ko, hindi ko siya minamadali. Kahit it will take me, you know, longer than usual to finish that specific task. That's fine with me. As long as 101% sure ako dun sa mga information na nakalagay. So, ganun dapat tayo as virtual executive assistants. You have to fact check everything. You have to reconfirm everything. Even if nakita mo na sa isang website, let's say sa Google, nakita mo sa website itong info na to, maghanap ka pa ng ibang website that would Re that would confirm the first website na nahanap mo when you're doing your research. And then the next thing for being detail-oriented is you have to make sure that everything is documented. If you need to record a phone call, if you need to record a Zoom call, i-record mo siya lahat para pwede mong balikan and meron kang resources na nakatago sa'yo that will reconfirm all of the, in that will confirm all of the information that you're going to give your client. So, ganyan dapat tayo ka detail-oriented. The next competency is you have to be resourceful. Kailangan you know how to work your way around Google search. Google is your best friend when you are um, a virtual executive assistant. Kasi virtual nga tayo. Wala naman tayong ibang resources except for our internet and the World Wide Web. So, you need to be able to make sure that you know what websites are reliable, what websites are hindi fake news, yung mga ganyan. So you have to be resourceful. And when you're a VEA, you also always have to think outside of the box. Kapag meron kang isang problema, let's say, meron kang isang issue na kailangan mong i-resolve, don't, yung mindset mo, don't lock yourself within what you think is the right thing to do. Think of other solution na eccentric. Um, a rebellious type of solution that will help you solve your issue. So, ganun ka dapat as a virtual executive assistant. Dapat madiskarte ka. Like, what I learned in the past um, likha summit, kailangan madiskarte ka. And pag madiskarte ka, trivia lang guys, I learned from Laika Maravilla. She said that discarte is actually a unique term specifically used by Filipinos. Wala daw katumbas ang word na discarte sa English. Okay? So, ka, tayo mga Pilipino, ganap na or in, in ano sa atin, unique sa atin yung pagiging dis, madiskarte. So, let's take that as one of our advantage and our strength, yung pagiging resourceful. Siguro, I think that's the closest um, definition of what being a madiskarte person is, yung pagiging resourceful. So, kailangan talaga magawa natin ang mga paraan, lahat ng mga issues, lahat ng mga tasks na ibibigay ni client sa atin. Gamitin natin yung very unique characteristic natin as Filipinos, yung pagiging madiskarte to be able to be resourceful as a virtual executive assistant. The next competency is you have to be assertive. Ano ba ibig sabihin ng assertive? Kailangan malakas yung loob mo. Okay? Dito pa mapasok yung executive presence na laging naririnig natin dyan. For those who are um, watching this and are applying to Athena, you have to be assertive. You have to ex you have to show your executive presence. Huwag kang magpapakain ng buhay sa kliyente mo. Treat your client as a partner and not as a boss. Okay? So there are moments wherein there are tasks that you have to take lead on. 
So make sure na hindi ka matakot to tell your client na, hey, this is the right thing to do. Don't, huwag ka matatakot na ay, pamukha sa kliyente mo na, hey, I know what I'm doing. This is what we're going to do. I've been doing this already for the past years. This is the right thing to do. But of course, you have to be like soft to your client when you're when you're telling that. Hindi ka yung tipong, no, you're wrong. I'm right. Hindi ganon. You have to do it professionally. You have to show your assertiveness professionally. Another way for you to show that you are assertive is you have to constantly give updates to your clients sa mga tasks na ginagawa mo. Hindi yan pwede na sinimulan mo yung task, tapos i-update mo lang siya pagtapos na. Hindi yung pwedeng ganon. Kung sinimulan mo yung task, mamaya after two hours, update mo siya. Or the next day, update mo siya, eto na yung task mo. Hindi pwede na papabayaan mo na lang na wala ka nang ibibigay sa kanya. That's one way of how you're going to be assertive. You have to give constant updates to your client. And the last thing is, you have to be accountable sa actions mo. Okay? Hindi ka pwede na manini- magsisisi ka ng iba. Okay? Um, if you are a virtual executive assistant, is if something went wrong, you have to be accountable dun sa action na yun. You have to be accountable dun sa output na yun. Huwag mong sisisihin yung internet. Huwag mong sisisihin na nasa Pilipinas kasi ako. Hindi siya pwede ng ganon. You have to be accountable of your action. And last but definitely not the least, you have to show empathy and respect to your clients and all of the people that you're working with. Whether it be your client's employee, your client's investors, your client's clients, you always have to show empathy and respect. Do not be transactional with all the people that you're working with as a virtual executive assistant. Kahit even if this is a professional workspace, you have to show empathy, care, and respect to all of the people that you're working with. The next the next competency is you have to be dependable. Ibig sabihin lang dito is you have to make sure na kapag may binigay sa yung si client na task kailangan mong gawin, gawin mo. Huwag kang maghanap ng excuse. Huwag kang puro excuse na parang ay hindi ko kaya to. Ay ayoko nito. Ay hindi ko trip yung ganito. Um parang hindi ko kaya gawin. Kailangan yung mindset mo kapag naging virtual ex- executive assistant guys, kaya mong gawin lahat. Hindi yung pwede na parang, ay, ayoko niyan kasi hindi naman ako magaling dyan. Cannot be. Okay? If you want to be a successful virtual executive assistant, you have to be able to do everything. Unless sinabi ng kliyente mo sa yung please lumipad ka. That's, of course, that's impossible. But all of the things that you can do professionally, you have to be dependable and you have to be able to do that. Don't be afraid to learn new skills. If merong pinagawa si client mo na hindi mo alam kung paano gawin, alamin mo, pag-aralan mo. Okay? YouTube University is one of the most helpful resources that's out there. And ang dami-dami mo mo or matututunan mo lahat doon. And last but definitely not the least also, same with being assertive, you have to be responsive to your clients in all of your communication platforms. Whether it be email, messenger, WhatsApp, Viber, or text, you always have to be responsive to your clients. Don't leave your clients hanging. That's how you're going to be dependable. And next is you have to be proactive. Kapag proactive ka, huwag mong hihintayin yung client mo na magsabi na, hey, gawin mo to, gawin mo to, gawin mo yan. Okay? This is where a virtual executive assistant actually should excel on how we on being proactive. Kailangan sabihin mo na sa client mo na, hey client, I can do this for you. I can take this task out of your plate. Um, I can create these things for you. Kahit hindi pa niya sinasabi na gawin mo. Okay? That's what a virtual executive assistant should be doing. Now, bakit? Because clients are actually looking for virtual executive assistant kasi hindi sila expert sa specific thing. Let's say, sa calendar management. Sige lang sila. Meeting lang sila ng meeting. Kuha lang sila ng kuha ng meeting. So, hindi na sila nagiging productive. Diba? Ang gulo-gulo na ng calendar nila. And that's why they need to hire a virtual executive assistant because we are experts in calendar management. So, we have to be proactive by telling our client na, hey, eto ang calendar mo, ang pangit ng calendar mo, ang dami mong meeting na hindi mo naman na dapat ina-attendan. Okay? So, meetings ka lang ng Monday, Tuesday and Wednesday, puro ka lang focus work. Thursday and Friday, pwede tayong maglagay ng half-day meeting. And then Friday, 
easy ka na lang, relax, relax ka na lang so that you can enjoy the rest of the weekend. And then, ikaw na yung mag-gatekeep ng calendar ng client mo. Ikaw na magsasabi na, oh, may gusto makipag-meeting sa'yo, ha? Hindi ko na siya isasama dito sa Monday meeting mo kasi hindi naman siya importante. I'll move them to the next week. Ganun ka magiging proactive because that's why your client is hiring you as a VEA kasi hindi sila champion dun sa specific skill na yon. So that's where we come in. And those are the main or the most important competencies that you should have as a virtual executive assistant. Now, let's move on to our next module.